welcome to fun friday where we are looking at various projects creative work artwork challenges when it comes to waste management at a school level and in today's video we are going to look at five projects in waste management for school students let's get into the video if you're wondering what is the point of such projects at a school level let me tell you why we tread the waste management lightly what we know we teach the children but there are a lot of things which we have missed out which we have neglected to teach the kids because we are not following it it's not our fault that is how we are brought up but of late if you see sustainability climate change global warming it has become a hot bus it is everywhere why does it matter because those school children the kids they are going to be the future generation so what our natural resource the waste the impact that we are leaving on the earth it should be there for them in the future if you are going to consume natural resource at an exponential rate and we are generating so much of waste without getting it processed then what is going to happen what are we going to leave for the kids after 15 years 50 years 100 years that is why it matters they are going to play a pivotal role when it comes to sustainability they are already doing it and we are going to look at projects activities that is going to make much bigger change in terms of the thought process in terms of the behavior the habits when it comes to sustainability let's look at it one by one project number one waste collection drive at school this is something that is already taking place but not everywhere in some schools it's happening where the collection drive is being conducted to spread awareness about waste but there is more to it so in what way it is going to help the school and the students let's look at it as part of the collection drive either the school management or a particular group of 11th or 12th grade students they can analyze look into various waste management companies they can select them in that way what is going to happen it could be a plastic e-waste battery paper fabric it could be any waste and the company could be either be collecting it dismantling it they could be recycling it re-engineering it whatever they might be doing it so the students or the school management is going to approach them get them on board in that way what is going to happen they are going to either do an online or offline session at the school about how or what happens to the waste after it's get disposed what are they doing to the waste so in that way the students will learn how the waste is getting processed what are the challenges and what is coming out of it and how it is getting back into the ecosystem this is going to give them the insights about the waste how different waste undergoes different process for e-waste it is different for plastic it is different for battery it is different so in that way they are going to understand how waste is unique it's different they're not similar so that is going to be the first step so once they know what is happening how it is done then through the collection drive they are going to contribute collect the waste and deposit it which is going to get picked up by these waste management companies and in return the students are going to get a certificate of participation or it could be a gift voucher depending on what kind of arrangements have been made one more outcome which we have seen through these collection drivers that students are able to differentiate the waste they know that the waste has to get segregated then only it can get processed this is what we call segregation at source because we are not doing segregation at source millions of tons of waste is left out there and processed so this is going to be one of the outcomes which the students are going to learn through such collection drive and after that they are also going to learn which waste has value in it and which doesn't have value in it. So the disposal behavior is going to change according to that. So this is about waste collection at school. Project number two, waste to product. As part of the waste collection drive, we saw the outcome. They are able to differentiate the worthy and worthless waste. And what do you think is going to happen to the worthless waste? They can't ignore it. Something has to be done to it. And what about the worthy waste? Even they can be given a creative life to it. They can be converted into a useful product. So that is where 
the students are going to engage in a creative uh, artwork, a craft work, where they are going to convert the waste not only to an art but also into an useful product. So in that way what is going to happen is that this is something which you have seen in the previous Fun Friday series. They are going to convert the waste into an art, into an useful product. By that they are going to bring out their creativity contributing for a sustainable living and at the same time they are going to learn one more important aspect which I used to call improvisation. In most of my videos, whenever I talk about the informal sector, I used to talk about improvisation. That is one of the skills which the student has to learn, not only for waste, but also as part of life. That whenever they encounter a challenge, a situation, they have to adapt, pivot, improvise on spot to come up with a solution. So that is what they're going to learn through these artwork that is a set of waste in front of them they're going to apply the skill the creativity to come up with a product out of it so such improvisation with a given set of constraints that is going to enhance their knowledge level the skill this is what i personally feel and i have seen when it comes to such activities project number three learning about sustainability and product life cycle the students would have learned about physics, chemistry, max, biology at a concept level, at a theoretical level and some form of practical session. How about if we take a step further where they are going to learn about whatever products that they are using right from a pencil to an eraser to a notebook to a school bag to an uniform, how it is getting manufactured. It might be difficult to make them visit factory, a manufacturing unit. Not a problem at all. We live in a digital world. If they can't go to the manufacturing unit, we can bring the manufacturing unit to the school. We live in a digital age. We can show them a video, argumented reality, virtual reality, an interactive video where they are going to understand, learn, how a product is getting manufactured, what goes into a product manufacturing, what kind of natural resource. So in that way, they are going to know the significance of the natural resource, how much of the precious natural resource is being used to manufacture a product they love, they admire, or they seldom care, a product which they use and throw. So that thought process, it is going to get triggered for them. Okay, this is how a product is getting manufactured. It's such a complex process. And after it becomes a waste, what is going to happen? They can also learn a mini practical session at school level through 3D printing where a product can be printed in front of them. So they can know how, how much time resource it's going to take to create a product. Or it could be a mini injection molding so they can know how a product is made and after it becomes a waste what is going to happen to it so it is going to be an interactive learning session where they are going to learn about a product life cycle in terms of sustainability and that is going to help them learn and they in turn they are going to teach to the parents and to the community what has to be done project number four entrepreneurship it could be for profit or not for profit so where the students, they're going to come up with, it could be a business idea. But when it comes to waste management, what is going to be the only business model which they can think about? Collection. Because that is something which they can easily leverage. They can engage when it comes to waste management. So where they're going to collect the waste from various sources. It could be in their uh, neighborhood, community or from the co-students and whatever waste they have collected, they are going to sell it to authorized waste management company and they are going to make money out of it. In that way, they are going to learn the fundamentals of business because this is not a traditional business. In a traditional business, you are either offering a service, a product, but here it is the exact opposite. The waste is getting purchased or it could be a donation and it is getting picked up and from there it is going to a waste management company. So they are learning how to convince the customer to give the waste. They are going to explain to them how the waste is going to get treated. What are they going to do with the waste? So they are learning business development, customer engagement, marketing and through the sale of the waste they are learning how to make revenue, financial management and how to 
sustain and grow the business and if you are wondering a particular set of students they start the business and they pass out and they move on and the business dies need not be the case it could be in a form of a club where various students can be part of the club where they are going to do as a social entrepreneurship or as a business they are going to collect it contribute make money and then as they pass out somebody else can take it up so in that way the club is going to be there for eternity and if you are thinking is it only collection no whatever we talked about as project number 2 a waste to a product waste into an art even those products they can sell it in the marketplace it could be an on- offline marketplace or it could be an online marketplace they can make money out of it and whatever money they are getting they can contribute more towards sustainability so this is about entrepreneurship project number 5 internship internship is not just for college students even for school students it's already happening we have done it where the 11th or 12th grade students as part of the cbsc syllabus they are going to get trained mentored under an expert in an organization or it could be in a manufacturing unit or in and waste management company that is going to be a fixed assignment in discussion with the school and with the organization with the mentor so this is what they are going to learn as part of this internship so they are going to get exposed to real life problems which the business encounters and how they are addressing it and what they can learn from it so in that way the students they are trying to apply the theoretical knowledge into a practical scenario it need not be a right answer but they are bringing out their inner thought process coming up with a solution an assignment a practical solution so in that way they are gaining more and more practical knowledge and a certificate which is going to add more authenticity recognition in the marketplace these are the five projects which school students can engage to contribute a work in tandem with sustainability and be part of sustainable living